Hi, I'm John Gonzalez. And I'm Amy Sherman. We're about to have a Michigan's best day in, in Muskegon. Muskegon. Nestled on the shores of Lake Michigan and surrounded by inland lakes and rivers, Muskegon is a town whose story is tied to water. In the 1800s, the city was called the Lumber Queen of the World and was the center for the lumber industry in West Michigan, sending harvested logs down the Muskegon River to load onto boats in the harbor to send onward. Now you can find locally owned companies doing business on the international market, as well as a vibrant cultural scene, great restaurants and breweries, and some of the friendliest people in all of Michigan. Whether you come in the summer to enjoy some of the most beautiful beaches in Michigan or in the colder months to try out the luge at the amazing winter sports complex, Muskegon is an awesome town to explore in any season. is a great town to cruise in with miles and miles of lakeshore to explore. And lucky us, we got to pick up a brand new Honda to use on our adventure today. That's right, we want to thank Benton Baker Honda in Muskegon for loaning us this car for our best day here. Now, let's just go. With so much to do here in Ski Town, we better fuel up. Muskegon is lucky to have one of Michigan's best diners here in town, the cute and charming Tootsies. A sweet little spot to stop for a delicious home-cooked meal, Tootsie's is a step back in time to the 1950s with all sorts of memorabilia decorating the walls. Owners Julie Steffens and Amy Hargrove opened Tootsie's in 2012 and have been working together for over 20 years. These two ladies know how to have a good time and they make sure that each and every customer has one as well. We decided to open up because we needed a job and nobody will hire old women. Which leads into our name. <laughs> yep, Tootsie's Diner. <laughs> if you look up Tootsie's Diner, in the encyclopedia there's like what, 50 different? Oh, tons. But one of them is Risqué Women, and that's why we chose that name. We figured it'd be a good story, and yep. it was fun and yeah. happy. And, and we can give out Tootsie Rolls. And we can give out Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are still regional specialties to be found around Michigan. And in Muskegon, that means stuffed hash browns. You'll find these all over town, but some of the best are right here at Tootsie's. We are big fans of the buffalo chicken stuffed hash browns, which come with chopped chicken, hot sauce, and pepper jack cheese, as well as a super chunky blue cheese dressing on the side. Or if you're extra hungry, get the three oinker omelet. Oink, 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 that's three. A beast of a meal stuffed with shredded pork, bacon, ham, and a homemade cheese sauce. We also have to recommend the weirdly delicious BLT omelet, a surprisingly wonderful combo that you'll only find here at Tootsie's. Basically the focus I think for us is a good home cooked meal at a decent price. Friendly. And friendly. After a meal like that, it might be a good time to explore all the incredible outside activities you can do here in Muskegon. Every season is perfect for a walk in the woods and with miles and miles of trails, Muskegon has got something for every level. The Lakeshore Trail is about 12 miles long and winds along the shore of Muskegon Lake through downtown and all the way out to Lake Michigan. You can walk or ride your bike and the trail connects to several others for even more exploring. Or head to Hoffmaster State Park for awesome views of Lake Michigan and the dunes on trails that you can walk or cross country ski on. Ready for a little more action? Head downtown where you'll find art, history and shopping to enjoy. Wander around and you'll find more than two dozen public outdoor artworks to experience or head into the Muskegon Museum of Art, a small but remarkable spot. Started with a grant from Lumber Baron Charles Hackley, who left instructions that the money was to be used to purchase pictures of the best kind. The museum houses a permanent collection that features works from Picasso, John Stuart Curry, Dale Chihuly, and Edward Hopper. There are also changing exhibits brought in from all over the world. It's the perfect stop for a little bit of culture in Muskegon. You might not realize that Muskegon is truly a foodie town, but it is. We are constantly amazed at the gems we find in this town, including our pick for Michigan's best chili. Dr. Rolf's Barbecue has been open for less than a year, and we've already named them one of Michigan's best. That's right, Amy. They are home to Michigan's best chili. And here, you can get more than just one kind. They have three distinctly different chilies, all incredible. It's a must stop when you're in Muskegon. 
Dr. Rolf's Barbecue is owned by a real doctor, Dr. Rolf Hissom, who had a dream of having his own restaurant, and whose wife Judy and son Jeffrey are working to make this dream a reality every day. They run the show here, and in addition to making some incredible chilies, they also are smoking up some top-notch barbecue. Judy, what's it been like since we named you the best in Michigan? Well, we have sold a lot of chili. <laughs> That's, I mean, we really have, and it's been a lot of fun. People have come in from all over to try the chili, and uh, so we kind of have an ongoing poll as people try it and come in and, and see which chili they actually like the best of the three. And the winner is? Right now, the red chili is leading the polls. Okay. Followed pretty closely by the green and then the, the, the white. I so. love that. So how did this all come about? Tell us the story of Dr. Rolfs. Um, well, Rolf and I moved to the Muskegon area 26 years ago when he started an in-house practice at Mercy Hospital. And uh, he's been very busy uh, doing that for the last 26 years. We've been raising five wonderful kids and we kind of launched that last one off to college uh, in fall of 2017. And. Um, you, you needed a project, <laughs> so you decided a project, on a I restaurant. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the fun thing about a lot of the recipes are the things that he, he grew up eating at home. Um, you know, they, his grandfather would grow the greens and they'd harvest them and, and cook the greens and, and they'd have colored greens with, with their meals. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's fun to see people kind of embracing those, those as well. Right, so. a little family tradition right here mm -hmm. in Muskegon. Let's talk about this chili. The white chili is jam-packed with smoked chicken and gets the inspired addition of pickled carrots. The red, which was my favorite, is made with smoked brisket, black and pinto beans and spiced with poblano peppers and green chilies. My favorite is the green, a heady concoction of smoky pork, hatched chilies and jalapenos. It's delicious and made even better with the cute little cornbread waffle that comes served on the side. Can't decide which chili to have? No worries, they offer a flight so you can try them all. Be sure to save some room for the main course. You can get all the classic smoked meats and some tasty sides as well. Winning Michigan's best can kind of change your life, or at least your business, and Dr. Rolf's is no exception. A few minutes from downtown and a step back in time is the USS Silversides, a World War II submarine. Open for tours year-round, you can't miss this incredible experience. Head into the museum first to learn not just the history of the sub, but an excellent overview of World War II in general. Wondering how a sub works? They explain it all here, and it's totally fascinating. Then, step outside, and on board, matey. <laughs> the sub is in its original condition, so you'll get to see what it was really like to serve under the seas. And let me tell you, after a visit to the Silver Sides, you'll have even more respect for the heroes who did. It's pretty tight quarters down there. Feel like you might need even a little more sub action? You can actually book an overnight stay on the Silver Sides, where you'll get to walk the deck, explore even more below, and stay in one of the soldiers' berth for a true historic experience. Muskegon has an up-and-coming craft beer scene with several options for libations in downtown. Stop by Pigeon Hill for a light Walter Blondale and then walk right down the block to Unruly Brewing for a Tropic Thunder. A gathering spot for the community, Unruly features a whole range of beers to enjoy, from IPAs to stouts and everything in between. They often have live music at night and always have pizza available from Rebel Pies, which shares the building with them. It's the perfect stop for a refreshing happy hour, or really any hour. Located just blocks from downtown on 4,400 acre Muskegon Lake, the lake house offers marina side dining that is casually elegant with a professional yet welcoming vibe. The setting is lovely with a beautiful patio, plus a deck that runs the length of the restaurant right along the water, where in the summer you can gaze upon some pretty big boats. During the winter months, you get a clear view of the lake. After purchasing the 23-acre property in 2009, owner John Rooks spent a full year renovating. They reopened in 2010 and quickly had a full house. John, one of the things I love about the Lake House, it's one of our, our picks for Michigan's best waterfront restaurant. Um, you guys are open year-round. That's not really the case with a lot of waterfront restaurants. So people can come and enjoy you any time of the year. That is true. And since we opened in 2010, we never have closed in the winter and we never will. Never. Never. We can guarantee a great meal all you winter You know, one long. of the benefits we have is we have 340 hotel rooms right next door 
and those 340 hotel rooms will bring us business all year round. So there's always a lively atmosphere here, even on a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. It's a good place to maybe embrace winter, but from the comfort of a cozy, warm restaurant. With a fireplace. With a fire, I know yeah. I love the fireplace. Yeah. Well, what can people expect when they come to the lake house kind of food wise? Well, we change to a winter menu. You'll enjoy a little heavier fare and what you might expect in a cold winter night in, in Michigan. Um, come spring, we'll go back to the summer menu. The food here is pretty incredible, from traditional classics like surf and turf and planked whitefish to dishes that might soon be your new favorites, like grilled rainbow trout served with veggies or a roasted elk with Asiago gnocchi. We just can't say enough about the amazing professional service at the lake house. It is warm and welcoming while being right on the money, much like everything else here. Well, Amy, we had a great time here in Muskegon. We sure did, from having an incredible breakfast at one of Michigan's best diners to exploring awesome works of art, heading over to see the World War II sub right here in Muskegon, and having some of Michigan's best chili. Finishing off the day with some fine dining here at the Lake House, that's how you spend a Michigan's best day in Muskegon. We'll see you soon on our next Michigan's Best Adventure. Michigan's Best Day in Muskegon is brought to you by Benton Baker Honda and the West Michigan Honda Dealers Association.